So the cassette that I've got here is a ZTTO, or maybe you'd want to pronounce it Zitto. This is a Rode cassette, and uh, the version I've been testing is 11 to 32. I believe this is a rebranded Sunrace cassette, although for that I am not 100% sure. Uh, this one I have now been using for um, just over a month, got just under 2,000 kilometers on it. And uh, yeah, I just thought it would be a reasonable amount of time to, to give a bit of a, an update and see what the performance is like. So I bought this because at the time I couldn't get hold of an Altegra cassette and that's what I tend to use normally. Um, Altegra is sort of, the, I would imagine, the benchmark in terms of performance, but also without uh, going crazy money like a Dura Race. So this, I said it is 11 to 32. It comes as a block of nine, which is drilled and um, screwed together. And then the last uh, two cassette blocks are separate. So similar to some most of the other cassettes, you put these on on at the end. Uh, so it's not a it's not together like a SRAM cassette. That's a uni block where it's CNC as one. This is actually individual cassettes which are then uh, screwed together. For those that might be interested in the weight, this uh, ZTTO 1132 comes in at 356 grams. Compare that to Altegra 11 to 32. It's quite a bit lighter, 282 grams. Uh, 105, 11 to 28, which is the only one I had to, to compare, that's 272. And finally, I had a SRAM uh, PG 1170, 11 to 36 at 362 grams. So uh, overall, the ZTTO is, uh, is a little bit heavy or heavier than uh, the competition. Uh, in terms of performance and what I've had so far, it's actually been quite good. Shifting is, is reasonable. It's... A few of the cogs that I've had uh, are not perfect. I've tried to set up the, the derailleur as good as I can. But there are a few cogs where I'm either struggling to, to come up from one or down, but overall, the performance is, is pretty good. Better than I was expecting. Uh, Price-wise, I think that you can get these for roughly 50 pound, which is about the same as a, as a 105, a little bit less than Shimano Altegra. I have had some problems and the main problems I've got are to do with the, the free hub body. I've just pulled this off now and noticed that there's a lot of scoring on the free hub body. And uh, although this is a, a single block, it's uh, created marks on the free hub body. Now with a, with a normal cassette, with an Altegra cassette, I don't tend to get that. Even though the last cassette cogs are separate, I, uh, I haven't, had, haven't had any indentations created from that. And then also there's scoring on the body between the, um, the raised sections. And I think that's because when you look inside here, you've got the plastic bits on it. There's something happening that there's a movement there somehow, which has created a lot of scoring. Despite trying to clean it as best I can, the freer body is quite rough. Now, the freer body I've got is aluminium with a steel protector plate. That steel protector plate is also looking as if it's been pushed off. So that's that's not ideal. And I think using it for a little bit longer, I would, I'd probably lose that. And then as soon as you lost that, you're going to need a new freer body. So wear on this is reasonable. Uh, the 32 showing a little bit of wear. Um, 2,000 kilometers is not much. So I don't think this will last quite as long as a Shimano, but... Again, it's a little bit better than I was expecting. One other small problem is the lock ring. This is aluminium and it's very cheap aluminium. If you're replacing a worn cassette, if you've got a different lock ring, I would use a different one rather than this. If this comes with it, just be really careful. It hasn't got the metal sheet that, um, that Shimano has. So you can see that the, this is quite marked just from a single, single uh, use. Also the threads, um, almost stripped when I put it on so just be really careful if you are using this so overall I wouldn't completely recommend it I would suggest if you can get uh, an Altegra or maybe even a 105 cassette I would go for it over this but at the moment cassettes are actually really hard to get hold of so in that case this is a, probably a viable option uh, just keep an eye on the free hub body. If you've got a steel free hub body, it's not going to be a problem. If you've got an aluminium, just keep an eye on it. 
and uh, in terms of wear and uh, this has been used in all sorts of weathers but with good good chain lube i think that's another key factor you always use good cheap chain lube uh, it should last and um yeah if you can't like i said if you can't get a hold of anything else at the moment which is quite likely then uh, it's a possible option but not above a shimano cassette so hopefully that's been of use to to some people if anyone else has used this and got their own feedback uh, leave a comment and um, see if what I've found is the same as other people's. Uh, yeah, thank you. Bye.